My name is Brian Graham. I'm the founder and CEO of Peppermint Energy. One of the observations that I've had is that we are trying to do renewable energy here in the U.S. and we're maybe not doing it very well. And it's the mindset of we're trying to replace the coal plant, so we need to replace it with something that's like a coal plant. That's where we came up with this idea of how we can use solar better. When we looked at what solar could do, it's a theme that kept occurring to us is how do we get energy to everyone everywhere? The end result is what we now today have as the 42. And it is strong enough to be able to run a refrigerator, some fans, some LED lights, and be able to run those 24, 7, 365 sitting in a desert in Africa. We got in design engineers, we got in electrical engineers, and, and started to put together what it could be. And it kind of lived in a CAD environment. So that's when we decided, OK, we need a prototype. These needed to be functional prototypes. They had to be something that could support all the weight of the electronics, of the batteries. We could throw it in the back of a pickup, drive out into the middle of a field, throw it out in the field, plug stuff in and see what happened. It needed to actually have the strength as if this was the end final product. We had to be able to make changes to it on the fly. So we were able to make changes that I would estimate saved us at least a quarter of a million dollars of tooling cost. Be because of the advances in technology that have happened, including FDM, we can sit in the upper Midwest in a rural setting and pull together a product and a reach and a distribution network that is global. So we're bringing jobs to the rural part of the country, which is something that's a little bit of a feather in our hat, we believe. So domestically, there's a lot of fun things that it can do, and, and, and an impact it can, it can have in lives. We're, we're all living very mobile, connected lives where we need a lot of energy. Internationally and, and around the world, it is truly life-changing. There's three billion people in the world that don't have access to reliable power, half of those not having access to power at all. We're talking about life-changing technology that we take for granted. It's the ability to refrigerate medicine. Now all of a sudden you have penicillin. Not only can it power a home in rural Haiti, it can also help the city of Port-au-Prince following the major earthquake. Disaster hits, there's a need, open up, plug in, go. When we were in Haiti, the young men that were with us, their eyes light up about what they could do with this. And then to actually see them come back to us with business plans of, here's what I can do with this, how do I get one? You know, it's overwhelming for us to be able to be a part of that. This is a radically different approach to how we use energy and will radically change lives around the world. If you've ever needed an outlet where there is no outlet, more power to you.